Hi, Luis. Good evening. Hi, Maria Elena. Good evening. Hello, Luis. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? I'm fine. Excellent. I'm fine as well. Thank you. Hi, Maria Elena. How are you? How are you? We cannot listen to you, Maria Elena. I think you have problems with the connection. Hi, Mr. Pedro. Hello, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? I'm pretty fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine. Uh, I saw so it's problem in the connection. Um, I to reset again, but uh, put information in the bad connection and the problem for to um, uh, Portal. <laughs> ah, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. But now it is ready. Mm. Yes, in, in this moment for the reason to, okay. to connect it this, uh, right now. Okay, no problem. Nice, nice. And the platform is uh, correct right now. You can check it. Yeah, yes. I okay. Some exercise too. Okay, perfect, perfect. Nice. I am a little sick. <laughs> yeah, I was going to tell you that. You are sick yes. again. Yes, because it's uh, the virus is the more in this moment. Ah, but it is uh, not coronavirus. Uh, no, for the, no, the <laughs> corona is a is a is a the drink. <laughs> drink, yes. <laughs> for the, the beer. <laughs> the beer. The beer. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So we're going to wait a couple of minutes. Okay, we're going to wait uh, for our classmates. Maybe they have problems with the connection. We will see. Yes, and right now, and uh, I don't know because it's a server. It's possible the server the the, the little problem in the connection. Mm -hmm. Probably. Let's see. Yeah, I want to check the the <coughs> I'm checking the, the, the group and nobody's telling anything. So yeah, yeah we're, I, we're, we're going to wait, okay? Probably it is it is a little mistake. I uh and uh well mientras se conectan los demás teachers tenía una consulta donde mm -hmm. Estamos en el ejercicio de exercise number two en la 1.7, en knowledge check. 1.7. Sí. And, for example, Taipei is very nice. Uh, everyone is extremely friendly. The connector is N or bad. For yep. me, it's N. Mm -hmm. I put all the sentences. And uh, pay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I correct to set N. I change to put, but it's the same answer. It's a the same problem. Yes, and I eliminate the points. Put the points. I don't know. Yeah, let but me let me do the let me do one. I think. The problem here is a comma because in the example I don't see a comma. Are you using a comma? Uh, change the point for the comma. Yeah, I think you need to change. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to do the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Yeah, you need to use a comma. Actually, uh, 
in the in the middle of the sentences before end or before but. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. uh, Taipei is very nice. Comma. Uh -huh. Comma end. Uh -huh. uh, okay. uh -huh. uh, let me see. I to do the. Ah, okay. It's like a... But for is necessary the comma. Nice, I'm fine. And you, how are you? Hi. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Nice to listen to you. <laughs> uh, teacher, in the example, is don't use the comma. Yeah, it doesn't use the comma, but in the video, if you remember, in the video yes. explains that you have to use a comma. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in, this, in the platform, the correction is in the sentence in the example. In the, in the example, yeah. I, we need a correction there in the example. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Because they are not using a comma, it's true. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I, <laughs> it's a good. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question because you know, you never know, right? Maybe you have it correct or you don't know. But yeah, that's mm -hmm. good that you're asking. Yeah, okay. Okay. So thank you for the question. Thank, thank you, teacher. No problem. Okay. We have a three. <laughs> yeah, we have three people, but yesterday we had more. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yes. Maybe they changed because they didn't like the teacher. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to start and maybe they can join us a uh, little by little, okay? Just like yesterday, we are going to begin with stop the bus, okay? So you need your paper. And in the case of Saida, do you have this Saida in your notebook? No, teacher. Okay, so take a piece of paper or a notebook, okay? Uh -huh. And you need to write these categories, name, last name, oh. object, you know, like bachillerato stuff. But in yes. this case, in English, we call it stop the bus, okay? Okay. Stop the bus. So I'll give you one or two minutes so that you can copy the, the, the categories, okay? Yesterday, yesterday, I wrote the name, uh -huh. last name, fruit, vegetables, ah, very okay. fast, adjective, and country. Okay, perfect, perfect. But then you have problems with the connection, right? Yes. Okay, no problem, okay? So we're going to play a couple of times uh, so that we wait for our classmates, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's do it, let's see. Um, are you ready? Do you have your papers? Yes. Okay, perfect. The letter will be letter T. T. Okay. T. Go for it. Letter T. Remember when you finish, you need to say stop the bus. Okay. Stop the bus. Okay, I just turned off the microphones. And when you're ready, please tell me stop the bus. Okay. Stop the bus. So we have name, last name, object, fruit or vegetable, verb in the past, adjective, country, and total at the end, okay? When you finish, you need to activate your microphone and tell me stop the bus, okay? When you finish. Okay, 30 seconds more. 
30 seconds more. Stay the bus. Stop the bus. Excellent. Stop okay. The bus. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So Luis, stop and Pedro, stop. Okay. You cannot write more things. Let's see. Um, let's see, Saida, what name do you have in uh, for letter T? Tatiana. Tatiana. Okay, Pedro? Tom. Tom. And Luis? Tomás. Tomás. Okay, perfect. So 10 points for every single person. 10 points. Mm -hmm. Last name, Saida, what do you have? Torres. Torres. Pedro? Torres, too. <laughs> Torres. And Luis? No. <coughs> Excuse me, too, Luis, one more time. Taurin. Okay, okay, so five points for Torres, okay? Five points for Torres. Object, let's see, Saida. Tall? I don't know. Object, tall. Uh, no. Yeah, that's an adjective, it is, not a, it is not an object, okay? So let's see, Pedro. Tank. Tank, okay, and Luis. I don't have anything. You don't have anything. Okay, no problem. So, sorry, Saida and Luis, you have zero. Pedro, you have ten. Fruit can or vegetable. You say me, can you say me adjective with T? Adjective? Uh huh. The one that you told. Tall. Tall. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. tall. Okay. Fruit or vegetable. Let's see, Saida. Tomato. Tomato. Pedro? Uh, it's a plural, tomatoes. <laughs> it's different in the world. <laughs> okay. It's a plural that put. <laughs> okay. And Luis? Tomato. Tomato. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Pedro, but that's the same thing. Okay. So five <laughs> points. Five points. Okay. Okay. Verb in the past. Saida. Talked. 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 Okay. Talk. Uh -huh, talk. Okay, perfect. Pedro? Told. Excuse me? Told. Told. Uh huh. The pass of tell. Okay, excellent. Yes. And Luis? Taught. Taught. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, so 10 points, everybody. 10 points. Adjective. Let's see. Saida? Adjective. Tall. Tall. Pedro? Tall. Tall. And Luis? Tall. So, okay, perfect. Five points. Also, we have a talkative, a person that likes to speak a lot. Okay, talkative. Talk. Yeah, also, let's see. Uh, tired. When you are after work, you are tired. Okay, that is an adjective. Okay. Okay, let's see. Country, Saida. I don't know. Uh, Thailand, Thailandia? Thailand, excellent. Uh -huh. uh, Thailand. Thailand, uh huh. Okay, Pedro. Uh, Tanzania. Tanzania, okay. And Luis. <laughs> Tasmania is a is an island, I think. Oh really? Ah. Okay, yeah. let me look for that. Mm -hmm. And Luis, what do you have? Tasmania, <coughs> an island. Tasmania too. Yeah. Okay, let me look for it, if it's a country. Ah, it says that it's a state from, yeah, it's an island. And it's a, a uh, yeah. It is a state from Australia, okay? So the country is Australia. And in Australia, you have Tasmania, okay? So that's not a country, okay? That's a, that's a okay. yeah, that's an island, so that's zero, okay? Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now I uh, do the math. Okay, how many points? So let's see how many points you get for letter T. And then we're going to do the last letter for today. Forty-five. Okay, nice. Yeah, at the end, we're going to see who has more points, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, at the end. All right, are you ready? Yes. <coughs> Let's see, the next letter is P. P. P, yeah, letter P, go for it. 
Remember, when you finish, you need to say, stop the bus. Stop the bus. Okay, I will turn off the microphones. And whenever someone finishes, please tell me, stop the bus. Okay, stop the bus. Hi, teacher, I'm sorry. Hi, Marielena, how are you? Um, bien, digamos, el trabajo <laughs> me, estaba, me está absorbiendo, lo siento. Yeah, don't worry, okay, don't worry. Uh, okay. Yeah, there are more important things. You need, you have your job, okay, no, no problem. But yeah, thank you for joining us, okay? Thank you for being here. Okay. That's really nice. Okay. That's really nice. Okay. Okay, Maria Elena, if you want to play. Ah, uh -huh. Yeah, we have, we're playing with letter P right now. Okay, letter P. In Stop the bus. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. Saida uh, finished. Okay, okay Saida finished. Uh -huh. All right, let's see Saida. Uh, name with P. Pepe. Pepe. <laughs> Pedro, name with P. Peter. Peter, okay, and Luis? Peter too. Ah, oh, Peter. Yeah. Okay, you have five. Okay. Last name, Saida, last name? Perez. Perez, okay. Pedro? Pedro, last name? Porter. The Harry. Porter. <laughs> ah, Porter. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. And Luis? Polanco. Polanco. Okay, so you have uh, 10, 10, and 10. Okay, 10 points. Object, Saida. Object. Freddy. Object, pretty. Uh huh. No, that's an adjective. Uh huh. Uh huh. Object, it's, it, it's a thing, okay? For example, computer. Ay, uh, creo que eso no lo anoté. Me ah, falta. ah, ok, ok. Ah, yes. Ajá, Pero. Ok, let's see. Pedro, what object do you have? Pencil. Pencil. And Luis? Pen. Pen. Ok, nice. Ten points for you. Fruit or vegetable, Saida? Peach. Peach. Ok, Pedro? Pineapple. Pineapple and Luis? Potato. Potato, nice, excellent. 10 points. Okay, 10 points. Verb in the past, Saida? Played. Played, Pedro? Uh, please. Where is it? Please. Please. How do you spell it? Uh, P L E A S E D. Ah, pleased. Uh -huh. Pleased. Pleased. Okay. And Luis? I have paid. Paid. Okay. Nice. Pale. Yeah. Same points. Uh -huh. Paid. Adjective. Saida? Pretty. Pretty. Uh -huh. Pedro? Poor. Poor. Okay. And Luis? I don't have any. You don't have any. Okay. 10 no. points for Pedro and for Saida. And country. Saida? Peru. Peru. <laughs> no, Peru. I don't know what okay. you say. Peru, yeah, Peru. Peru. <coughs> Peru. Okay. Pakistan. Pakistan, okay. And Luis? Portugal. Portugal, okay. Perfect. Okay. Now you have <laughs> 10 points. Nice. Excellent. Okay. So do the math, do the total for letter P. And tomorrow we're going to have the chance to continue practicing with other letters, okay? So right now, uh, we're going to do a short review, okay? We are going to see the topic from yesterday. And remember, we need to make a difference between an adverb and an adjective, okay? Over here, uh, we were practicing a short conversation, okay? Over here, we were using both adverbs and adjectives, okay? So just for you to remember, adjectives are used to describe a, a person, objects, places, 
animals, okay, etc. For example, we have a beautiful, big, small, reasonable, tall, angry, short, new, old, etc. Okay, we have many, many words to describe a person, an object, or a place. Also, we were learning how to use adverbs, okay? Adverbs, sometimes they modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. Today, we are going to focus only on adjectives, okay? For example, she sings beautifully, okay? In this case, this is the adverb. I am very tall. This is the other adverb, and I drive fast, okay? This is another adverb. And we were explaining that we have uh, simple sentences, okay? For example, it is called, and I can include an adverb to make this sentence a little bit different, okay? And I have two examples here. It is very cold, and it is a very cold night, okay? So we, this is what we were discussing on the previous class, okay? Remember, it is always before the adjective, okay? Before the adjective. Over here, we have some examples of other adverbs that we can use. So listen again, extremely, extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly and somewhat, okay? So extremely is like, wow, okay? Extremely, extremely hot. My, in my house, it is extremely hot, okay? It's like in San Miguel, I don't know, okay? It is extremely hot, okay? Or in my house is somewhat cold, uh, hot, sorry, because I live in El Pital, so it is somewhat, um, somewhat hot, okay? Most of the times it is very, very cold, okay? So that is how we use uh, adverbs together with adjectives, okay? And you were telling me some examples yesterday. I have some examples here. You told me your house is really beautiful, okay? Your house is really beautiful. My car is very fast. My job is somewhat hard. She studied very hard. And the weather at the beach is extremely hot, okay? So we have different, um, different uh, ways to use this, okay? So do you have any questions so far? No? All right, so we're missing uh, one, well, two, uh, two adverbs more that we can use. The first one is two, okay, two. This means more than you want, okay, more than you want. If you have something, that's too much, okay? I need, for example, I need uh, five, uh, five bottles of water, for example, and my father is giving me 20 uh, bottles of water. That is too much water, okay? I need only five, I don't need 20, okay? So that's too much, okay? Two, and then I need to say that. For example, this coffee is too hot, okay? This coffee is too hot. I like my coffee hot, but this one is too hot, okay? Too hot, I don't like it, okay? It's like too much. It's more than I, that I want. Okay, it's more than I want. So can you tell me some examples using two? Two. When you like something, but maybe the person is giving you more than you want, okay? My brother is to talk. My brother is too tall. Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you like other, right? He's tall and everything, but he's like too tall. Okay. Maybe you look very small next to him, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay, so too tall. Another example. Mm -hmm. Another example. Two. Two. Sorry, Pedro, I think we need to activate your microphone. Okay, now yes, we can listen okay. to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the integrate or integrator here with in my PC is broken. Oh, but right now we are using two, okay? Two, only two. Uh, if is to okay, my integrator is to um, Large. Okay, it's a large. Okay, nice. That's extreme, you know, but it is more than you want. Okay, it is more than you want. Any other example, people? Using two, more than you want. Okay. For example, I like, I like lemon in my soup. Okay. I like lemon in my soup. Okay. But sometimes I put a lot. <laughs> okay, so my soup is too sour. Okay sour because i have a lot of lemon in my soup okay so now it is too sour okay too sour another example people do you like coffee or do you like tea yes yeah okay do you like iced tea or hot tea hot tea hot tea okay so maybe when you're drinking tea, you can say, ah, oh, no, my tea is too cold, okay? Mm. Because you like it hot, but now it is very cold, okay? So it's like, no, I, I I'm can, not, uh -huh. I can say my hair is too large. Ah, okay, my, my hair is too large or too long. Uh-huh, okay, oh, too, too long. long. Yeah, you like your long, but that's very long. Okay? Uh -huh. Or the opposite, if you go to the, to the salon, <laughs> it's like, you like, uh, you like, uh, you like uh, so it's like too short, okay? too short. Okay. So that's how you use two. Okay. Two is another app. Okay. We can use for um the we use this activity or this uh position app and actually okay? include so. Okay. So, but um so I would say that so is similar to extremely. Okay. So it's almost similar to extremely. Okay. okay. It's like a combination. For example. My mom is so beautiful. Okay. So beautiful. I'm using this ad that is so okay. It's like a combination between simply and very. Can you show some examples using so? So it is like extremely or very. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's so. How can you describe your job? But it is um my family is so unidos, no sé. Ah, so united. Uh-huh. So united. So united. Okay, perfect. Okay. So united, uh -huh. or very united. Okay. That's perfect. So this how we um this how we use M and okay. so according to the platform, you have one exercise. Uh, let me show you that exercise. Okay. Um. All right. So can you see this? It says knowledge check. Um. Uh, yeah. In this exercise, you are giving some questions. In order to ask, uh, answer them, uh, you need to choose the correct response that best suits the situation, okay? Or the question. In this case, you need to read the information carefully. Uh, in this case, you need to make sure that you are using adverb and adjective, okay? Because this is the topic. For example, for number one, you have uh, four options. For example, what's so like? Uh, is it yeah. an interesting place? You have, oh really, it is beautiful and very clean. And it has a great harbor and beautiful beaches, okay? You need to analyze, okay, is a person using adverbs and adjectives all the time, okay? 
because that is a topic. So you need to look for that. Um, you need to look for that um, for that structure. Okay. Tienen que buscar esa estructura en específico que esté usando ambas. Okay. Adverb and adjective. Okay. Adverb and adjective. Y está súper simple porque solo son cuatro. Okay. Así que ahí es, es prácticamente para poder hacer parte sin ningún problema. Okay. So. Any questions? No. No? All right. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're going to do a very short exercise. Okay. Um, You're going to describe one person in this class using adverb and adjective. Okay. I'm going to give you one minute for you to think about one or two sentences. Um, using adverb plus adjective. Mm -hmm. For example, I can say, Pedro um, is uh, very happy, okay? Pedro is very happy. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I have a little Duncan, the teacher is Intelligent. Uh-huh. But what about the adverb? What is the adverb? For the teacher is very intelligent. Ah, okay, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh any other example, people? To describe a the person. House, uh, the house is extremely big. Ah, okay. The house is extremely big. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Uh -huh. Another example. Mm -hmm. The computer is very fast. Ah, the computer is very fast. Excellent, okay, excellent. Okay, nice, nice. Now we're going to change it to a different, a different position, okay? You're going to describe a country using adverb and adjective, okay? You're going to describe a country, any country, okay? Any country. And um, the Guatepec Lake is extremely uh, beautiful. The color, uh, Turquoise, Turkey. Turquoise. 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 Uh huh. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Nice. But what about a country? Okay, a country. Mm -hmm. For example, El Salvador. What can we say about El Salvador okay. using adverb and adjective? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Guatemala uh, is so beautiful. Okay, Guatemala is so beautiful. Excellent. Uh -huh. Uh, the El Salvador have uh, people, or, or the people of El Salvador is extremely uh, friendly. Okay, uh, the people from El Salvador are very friendly. Uh -huh. Are, yes, are okay. extremely friendly. Okay, are very friendly. Uh -huh. Excellent. <laughs> Teacher. El Salvador uh -huh. is too hot. <laughs> okay, El Salvador is too hot. Uh huh. That's good. Yeah, that's true. Okay, that's true. <laughs> Maria Elena, do you have an example? Uh, my bed is very comfortable. My bed is very comfortable. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Uh huh. All right. What an, What about another country? A country that you may know, people. <coughs> I can describe, for example, the United States. The United States is, uh, it is pretty big. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty big. A lot bigger than El Salvador. It's extremely big, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. 
the the man from Russia mm -hmm. is very tall. Okay, uh -huh. he's very tall. Uh -huh. All right, the last example, using a country. A country, maybe something that you have seen in, in, in the television or something. Um, uh -huh. The people of Mexico, uh -huh. uh, they they like tacos. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What what is the adjective in that in that case? Um, no. Uh, they, yeah. For example, they like to eat food. They like to eat. Eat to eat. Mm -hmm. eat, eat. Um, eat. Teacher, very tacos, mucho tacos. Ah, okay. But in that case, it's a lot of tacos. Uh -huh. But we need to find an adjective, okay? For example, friendly, uh, angry, happy, okay, those are adjectives. Uh -huh. In your case, we have tacos. Tacos are not adjectives, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, show me. Oh, those food are so delicious. Okay, oh, those are so delicious, excellent. excellent. Okay. All right, excellent, nice job, okay? And the last one, an object now, okay? An object, using an adverb and an adjective, okay? For example, my cell phone is so useful for me, okay? It is so useful because I can many things. Okay? What about my you? My bed is so comfortable. <laughs> okay, my bed is so comfortable. Yeah, for me too, okay? <laughs> That's my favorite place in my house. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pedro, what do you think? Uh, my car is... Uh, in Somewhat fast. Okay, my car is somewhat fast. Uh, excellent. Okay, another, the last one. Um, the beach, beaches uh -huh. of Costa Rica are very beautiful. Okay, the beaches from Costa Rica are very beautiful, okay? Excellent, excellent, okay? So, this is how we use adverbs and adjectives in context, okay? In context. So, very quickly, we're going to see the next part so that you can do the next part uh, after the class if you want, okay? Uh, we're going to see conjunctions, okay? Conjunctions in, English, uh, conjunctions in English are some words that we use for combining a sentence with another sentence, okay? We make only one sentence when we use conjunctions, okay? The, one, the first one that is very common is and, okay? And. So we use and for joining two positive ideas, okay? Two positive sentences, or you can join two negative sentences or two uh, negative ideas, okay? My car is new and it is fast, okay? Are these uh, sentences positive or negative? Mm -hmm. My car is new and it is fast. Are they positive ideas or negative ideas? The idea. uh, they are positive, okay? Because I am saying good things about car, okay? I am saying good things. So in this case, I am uh, combining, I'm, I'm combining, yeah, two um, positive ideas. Uh, what about negative ideas? My car is old and it is slow. Okay, they are negative ideas, so I can find two negative ideas as well. Okay, so that, that's also a positive idea and a negative idea, and a dream. Okay, because in that case, we need to use another type of word. Okay, para ese caso siempre usamos otro tipo de palabra diferente. Cuando usamos end, es porque las dos ideas son iguales, tanto positivas o negativas. Okay. Pero no podemos hacer una, una positiva y una negativa, porque ahí sí se nos complica un poco en el significado, ¿ok? Algo más eh, que me gusta que se fijen por acá es el uso de la coma, ¿ok? Porque de hecho con Pedro estábamos hablando que eh, en la plataforma el ejemplo no está con coma, ¿ok? Pero a la hora de calificarse... Eh, la plataforma va a ser bien estricta con la coma porque esa es una regla ortográfica, ¿ok? When we have end, we have end, before end, I need to use a coma, ¿ok? 
I need to use a comma, but I need to use a comma only when they are complete sentences, okay? I have a subject, a verb, and a complement, okay? When I have a subject, a verb, and a complement on this side, and then a subject, a verb, and a complement on this side, okay? For example, my car is new is one sentence. And then it is fast is another sentence. Okay. So they are complete ideas. Okay. They are complete ideas. So you make sentences using end or uh, it can be positive ideas or negative ideas. Mm -hmm. My son practices and the quote. Ah, okay. So in that case, in order to make it complete, you can say uh my son right yeah okay, my son after and he plays taekwondo okay or he practices taekwondo okay? uh practices yeah yeah you practice need... yeah and he practices taekwondo uh-huh uh-huh he practices yeah, need... uh -huh. soccer okay he practices soccer uh-huh uh -huh. you need to say the complete sentence say the complete. Uh, okay okay yeah. thank you yeah no problem Pedro, tell me one example, please. <laughs> okay, for match point, with I will need tomorrow a big breakfast and delicious. And delicious. Uh, my wife is a, a intelligent and beautiful person. Ah, okay. My wife is beautiful and she is intelligent. Okay? And she is intelligent. Uh -huh. Remember, you need to have a subject, a verb and a complement in each side, okay? You need to have that in each side. However, if you tell me my wife is a beautiful thing, okay? Okay, perfect. On the other side, <coughs> we have but, okay? Mm. But, in this case, yes, I can join a positive idea and a negative idea, okay? In the end, the two ideas are the same, but in this case, I can do one one. Okay? I do the link part, it's okay, it's a fine. Fine, 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 What is a negative idea? In the case of my car, the negative idea was it is slow. In this sentence, what is the negative idea? But it is dirty. Uh -huh. It is dirty, okay, it is dirty. dirty. Uh -huh. dirty. And the positive idea is that my house is beautiful. My house beautiful. is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now tell me, uh, in your case, tell me one example using a positive idea and a negative idea. Mm, I like my job, uh -huh. but it's very hard. Excellent, okay. I like my job, okay, that is a positive idea, but it is very hard, okay, or it is very difficult. That is a negative idea, okay. Another example. Remember, a positive idea with a negative idea. They need to be complete sentences. Uh -huh. It's possible to uh, say my home. Yeah, let's see, Pedro, uh -huh, tell me, then Saida. Um, okay, Saida. Okay, Saida. <laughs> uh -huh. I like to cook, but I don't like watch. Ah, perfect, okay. I like to cook, but I don't like to wash the dishes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yes. okay, nice. It's a positive <laughs> idea with a negative idea. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hey, Pedro, now it is your turn. Uh, my home is comfortable, but it, it is hot. Ah, okay. My house or my, my bedroom? I didn't listen. Okay, my house. Ah, okay. My house is beautiful, but it is hot. I know, okay. I think that's that's for everybody. <laughs> okay, so we have a positive idea and a negative idea. Okay.
Okay. Also, we have other words that we can use. Okay. Uh, let's repeat. Though. 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 Mm -hmm. I know that we have a th, and sometimes when we have a th, sometimes we pronounce it like, you know, like think. Okay. Think. But in this case, it is not thought. No. It's though. Okay. Though. Like a letter D for Dennis. Okay? Though. And also we have however. Okay. We have however. In this case, it is just like but. Okay. It is the same meaning. But. And I'm going to join a positive idea with a negative idea. But the only difference is that in this case, these words are going to be at the, at, the, at the end of the second sentence, okay? At the end of the second sentence. Let me, uh, let me show you one example, okay? Uh, I forgot the car over here. My car is new, okay? That is affirmative or a positive idea. My car is new. It is slow though, okay? It is slow though, okay? In this case, I am going to use the comma over here, and I use though at the end of the sentence, after the comma, okay? After the comma. In the case of but, I put it in the center, in the middle, okay? But in the case of though and however, I am going to use it at the end, okay? Estos son que se usan al final, okay? Que se usan al final. My car is new, it is slow though, okay? I have another example. My house is beautiful. It is dirty though. It is dirty, however, okay? In this case, I have however. Okay? It is dirty, however. Mm -hmm. Teacher, eh, no entendí esa parte. El okay. So. Uh -huh. eh, igual, uh -huh. igual significa but. No, no significa cualquier otra cosa, sino que significa pero, okay? Solo que en ese caso lo únicamente lo vamos a utilizar al final. No se puede usar en medio. ¿Ok? Entonces, igual significan pero. Pero en, en inglés se pueden poner al final. Por ejemplo, eh, otra, otra, otra definición que se le puede poner a though y however es aunque. Uh -huh. Aunque. Es como que diga mi carro es nuevo. Aunque es, aunque es lento. Aunque es lento. Uh -huh. Mi casa es bonita, aunque está sucia. Okay. Entonces, en inglés, únicamente si no quiere usar but, porque puedo usar but, este es simplemente, <coughs> pero eh, también puedo usar estas palabras, though o however, que significan aunque o pero. Uh -huh. Pero únicamente las voy a poder poner al final. Uh -huh. Únicamente las puedo poner al final, en ese caso. Así que acuérdense okay. de las oraciones que me dijeron usando but y traten de usarlas ahora usando though o however, cualquiera que usted quiera. Porque me dijeron algunas oraciones usando but, ahora traten de usarlas usando though o however. No sé si se acuerdan. Por ejemplo, the computer is fast. Uh -huh. It is all both. Ah, oh. okay. The computer is fast. It is all though. It is all. Uh -huh. Though. Uh -huh. Though. Though. Let me write the pronunciation. Though. 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 Uh -huh. Though. Though. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the pronunciation, okay? As I said, it's a though. Uh -huh. Though. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's see. Marilena? I like my job. Uh -huh. It is very hard. Though. Excellent. Okay. I like my job. It is very hard though. Mm -hmm. It's very hard though. Mm -hmm. Or you can say it is very hard, however. I like to cook. Mm -hmm. I don't like wash, however. Okay. I like to cook. I don't like to wash, however. Uh -huh. Perfect. Mm. Mm -hmm. Luis, Not can you tell me an example? Uh -huh. 
Diamonds. Ajá, la pencil is broken. Y it is uh, it is a good, it is good or it is uh, uh, let me see it's broken and it, it is, is good. Uh -huh. it is good though. It is a mold. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is a mold. Though. Though. Uh -huh. Though. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. And in the exercise in the platform, that is section 1.7. Okay. You can do this exercise now or after the class. The only problem here is that en las, en las indicaciones no le pone la coma. Pero eh, sí será necesario que le ponga la coma a la hora de escribir la oración completa. Okay. Porque hice un par de pruebas yo por acá. Y si sí es necesario que le ponga la coma, aunque en el ejemplo no esté la coma, ¿ok? Así que está muy fácil. Únicamente va a haber dos oraciones separadas por punto. Y luego va a tener dos opciones, que puede usar end o but. Usted tiene que fijarse. ¿Serán las dos ideas eh, positivas? ¿Serán las dos ideas negativas? ¿Ok? Entonces, dependiendo de eso, usted decide la correcta. ¿Ok? Si en ese caso las dos ideas fuesen positivas, usaría end. Pero como en este yeah. caso tengo una eh, positiva y una negativa, tengo que usar but. ¿Ok? Entonces, así es como se va desarrollando el ejercicio. En todas las oraciones va a haber end o but. En este caso ya tengo end o though. En este tengo end o however. Entonces, eso tiene que ver. Las ideas positivas, positivas, es la posición correcta. Okay, la voy a enseñar. Right. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So thank you for See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Happy night. Good night. Good night.